Welcome to Support This TV and Damn It Boy. Now, everybody and their grandma and auntie been covering this whole Drake and Pusha T situation. This whole back and forth musically, they taking jabs and songs and stuff at each other. Now, personally, I've been sitting back enjoying the show, but I did not want to say nothing about it until I seen Drake in this fucking blackface smiling like he part of Barnum and Bailey. Now, when I saw this shit, I thought it was Photoshop initially. Now, look, I said, nah, this ain't no Photoshop. This is a young Drake. Now, Drake has something to say about this. But before Drake say something, before I read what Drake had to say about this, let me take y'all on a history lesson back into the 19th century when white folks wore blackface, you know, acting like black people. And in the 19th century, it was very popular to do this shit. But when white folks wore this, they were acting like black people, but in a fucked up way. They made black people look like monkeys and clowns and idiots and shit. So when you see somebody wearing this special biracial or white, it looks fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand how people would look crazy at Drake for wearing this shit. But this is what Drake had to say about the situation. I know everyone is enjoying the circuit, but I want to clarify this image in question. This was not from a clothing brand, shoot, or music career. This picture is from 2007. A time in my life where I was an actor and I was working on a project where it was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photos represented how African Americans were once wrongfully betrayed in entertainment. Me and my best friend at the time, Mazayan, whatever, who is also an actor for Sudan, who was attempting to use our voice to bring awareness to the issues we dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in this industry. And to make a point that the struggle for black actors had not changed much. For those of you out there who believe Drake, hey, it makes sense, right? For those of you out there who don't believe Drake, who believe H&M or some crazy ass clothing brand had him doing this shit 10 years ago, you know, one thing about people. If people get a dumbass ideal in their head or people spread dumbass lies, if that dumbass lie is entertaining, they're going to keep running with it. That's what they do. They keep running with dumb shit. So the, the lie or alleged lie in this case is more entertaining than Drake standing up for black actors. So chances are people going to keep running with it and saying Drake was posing for H&M 10 years ago instead of saying, you know what, Drake said... He was doing that to help black actors because him and his friend from Sudan, Africa, weren't getting a fast shake in the auditions. You know, they say what? The lie is more entertaining, so people going to run with the lie. But anyway, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I just know a little crazy, you know. But let me know how y'all feel about the situation. And anyway, man, you know, Pusha T and Drake been dropping some real hot balls at each other, man. Who y'all think winning so far? But I'm AKA Bands to support this TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out, peace.